feel like all of your songs sound the same? Worried that no one will ever want to listen to your music? The answer is simpler than you think, chord progressions. And to learn about this, I'm taking you back to school. Back to the first school that you remember. Whether you called it primary, elementary or kindergarten, it doesn't matter. What you learnt there were the building blocks for the rest of your education and your life. When it comes to writing a song, the building blocks are chord progressions in major keys. In this video, I'll give you the top 15 chord progressions in major keys. Okay, settle down, the lesson's about to begin. Let's start with possibly the most popular chord progression in the world, 1, 5, 6, 4. Examples will be in the key of C major and played in hook pad. This chord progression is everywhere. Although maybe not as popular today as it once was, it still has the power to draw in listeners. Examples include Time After Time by Cindy Lauper and Right Here Waiting by Richard Marks. At number 14 is a variation on the previous example, 1, 6, 4, 5. Sometimes simply moving chords in the progression around can produce a fresh sound that your song is crying out for. Examples of this progression include The Sign by Ace of Bass and King of Wishful Thinking by Go West. Unlucky for some, number 13 is 1425. Chord progressions frequently use four chords, and in major keys this will often involve the major chords 1, 4 and 5 paired with a minor chord. Examples of this progression include You're Still the One by Shania Twain and Love Bites by Def Leppard. In at 12, it's 1, 4, 6, 5. Yet another spin on the first example showing you how much mileage you can get out of simple progressions. Examples include She Drives Me Crazy by Fine Young Cannibals and Where the Streets Have No Name by U2. At number 11 is an all major example, 1545. Depending on the mood you want to achieve, you can focus more on major or minor chords. Examples here include Wild World by Cat Stevens and Waking Up in Vegas by Katy Perry. At number 10 is 6545. This is the first time we've seen a progression not start with the one chord. This might be part of a song section that takes the listener on the journey away from the one chord or an extended chord progression. Think about denying your listeners the stability of the one chord to provide a different feel to your songs. Examples include Daniel by Elton John and Come Sail Away by Styx. In at 9 is 1365. This is the first example that uses the three minor chord and two minor chords in total. This brings a different feel to the progression. Examples include Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus and Want You Back by Cher Lloyd. Number eight is our first three chord progression, four, minor four, one. Breaking out of the four chord pattern can sometimes be useful to provide interest. In this progression, we use the minor version of the four chord. This is a borrowed chord from the parallel minor key. It is also known as a reverse polarity chord. Examples include Breathe Again by Tony Braxton and Space Oddity by David Bowie. Another three chord progression at number seven, four, first in version one, five. This progression introduces a first inversion major chord. Standard major and minor triads have two inversions each, which provide an easy way to get more use out of basic progressions. They also allow you to create interesting bass lines. Examples of this one include Jump by Van Halen and You Shook Me All Night Long by ACDC. At number six, it's four, first inversion one, two.
Another use of the first inversion one chord here, acting as a step down to the two chord. Examples of this include Tangerine by Led Zeppelin and Let It Be by The Beatles. Some more four chord progressions now, starting with number five, one, first inversion one, four, five. Another display of how inverted chords can transform a completely major progression. Examples include Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran and When We Were Young by Adele. Another all major progression at number four, one, first in version five, four, five. First inversion chords can replace any chord in your progression. Here, it's the five chord. Examples include You Look Wonderful Tonight by Eric Clapton and Please, Please, Please Let Me Get What I Want by The Sniffs. Close to the top now, at number three, it's one, first inversion five, six, four. First inversion 5 chord provides a pleasing downward step to the minor 6 chord in this familiar progression. Examples include Can You Feel the Love Tonight by Elton John and All Out of Love by Air Supply. In at number 2, 2 first inversion 1, 4 first inversion 1. The use of two first inversion one chords here creates a feeling of continued movement. Examples include All American Girl by Carrie Underwood and Tiny Dancer by Elton John. The bell's for me, not for you. Right, let's reveal the number one progression. It's the Packle Bell's Canon Chord Progression 1563-4145. This is the longest chord progression that's featured here, but remember, you can combine and mix up any chord progression as you like. Experimenting can often lead to great results. This chord progression is found in Canon in D Major by Johann Packelbell. It has influenced countless pop songs over the years. If you want to learn more about this and 14 other classical music chord progressions, then watch the video on screen now. Every day's a school day.